Peace and love, Empress 444, Turbo Dynasty. Let's get into it, Libras. What's going on? I hope you're all feeling beautiful and lovely and real Venus-like, okay? Let's get into this energy. You know, I taped a recording for you all earlier today. It was too long. And basically, um, I had issues uploading it. So I'm re-recording. All right, that's how dedicated I am to um, my Libra energies, okay? Um, I am re-recording this for my beautiful, beautiful Libras. And we're going to get up into this energy. It was really exciting. It was such a beautiful energy that we were in earlier. So we're just going to tap right back into it. And let's not waste any time. My spirit guides, my host of angels, and my ancestors protect me as I channel these messages. This is a general message. However, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. We're going to get into this energy. I'm going to start off with the Living Will Oracle deck. This is a beautiful oracle. Oh, let me go ahead and plug this phone up. I see it's running low on batteries. Okay. So we're going to tap in with this Living wheel oracle deck which is a beautiful deck i sell it on my website okay i love a girl botaniques for your spiritual and metaphysical needs these cards are beautifully awesome and they serve as really a learning tool with seasons energies that take place as well as the energies of the zodiac signs so let's get into it i'm going to pull from these cards and these cards are going to represent the energies of which things took place in as well as whatever zodiac um energies that you may be intertwined with when we talk about the libra energies okay so let's go ahead let's tap in libra energies spirit Cards for Libra Energies. Spirit. Thank you. The spirit. Thank you. The spirit. Thank you. No. Thank you, Spirit. These cards are awesome. Heavy duty. Beautiful name. The spirit. Thank you. More cards. Too many. I know some more want to come out. More cards there. What else? Okay. We're going to rock with those. And let's go ahead and let's tell the story. Okay. Let's tell the story and let's tell the truth. <laughs> the truth and nothing but the truth. Let's get into it. I want you to be able to see these cards because they play out so beautifully. I mean, you could totally create art with them. It is beautiful painted art that is on these cards. But we're going to go ahead and get into the science of what is being spoken to us through the ethers. All right, mass communication. pull one more off the top make it an even deal okay okay all right we got everything up out here set these to the side now my beautiful beautiful Libras we're gonna tap in this is the first card Okay, let me see if you all can see this. Okay, yeah. Camera's focused where you can see it. I was saying when I did my Virgo read, I love for you all to be interactive with me as well as, you know, being able to see the cards because I like to be able to see the cards. <laughs> okay, so I definitely want you all to be able to see the cards, all right? Let's go ahead and let's talk about it. 
We got Mercury energy. This is about transmission, okay? Transmission, that thing that's in your car that makes it go vroom, okay? This is transmission. So this is a, a power that took place in your energy, okay? Um, and this is the power also of Mercury. So you have mer Mercury recurring energy. Mm, I think they may say Mercurian. However, it sounds right to me, okay? Mercury, the energy of Mercury, all right, is here. And this energy is trans... I'm not going to say trans... It's transmissive. That's exactly what it is. It's transmissive. And then we have angler here, okay? This is the angler. This is all about relationship. So you have a powerful transmissive relationship, okay? This is what this angler represents, the X, okay? And this relationship, it formed of, under a wanting quarter, okay? This is a wanting quarter. This is about adjustment, okay? Looking to find where things fit precisely in your energy. All about adjustments. And this energy may, could possibly have been a Scorpio energy, okay? Now, we know Scorpio is an intensity. It's a fixed water sign. So if you know the chart of the person you're here for, or maybe even your own chart, okay? This energy exists from within that chart, okay? As well as Cancerian energy. This Cancerian energy is all about comforting, finding comfort, okay? Nurturing all the beautiful things that a mom, okay, per se, would offer, okay? And then we have the Capricorn energy, this Capricorn energy is here, whether this is someone that is in your energy currently. And I'm saying currently because I'm reading these cards. I'm becoming very familiar <laughs> with these cards, okay? So this is a Capricorn, all right, energy. It feels good to be in this energy, okay? This Cancerian energy that is taking place, all right? And then with these Scorpio aspects, it's an intense feeling. And there may be a Capricorn in your energy, or there is a Capricorn somewhere in your chart. Take what is yours, leave the rest. However, this is all, the new moon is here, this new moon. And we are coming up on this energy, okay? This new moon energy is all about dreams, okay? Your dreams. Are you paying attention to your dreams? Because they all have hidden channeled messages that are in them. Each and every one of your dreams. If you can write them down, please write your dreams down. You can decode them gradually as you continue to, you know, notate your dreams. But I'm telling you to do this because... This energy right here that I'm seeing, this is the first half of autumn. This is where we're approaching now. This is the energy of autumn approaching. So the dreams that you have now, whether it involves the Scorpio, whether it involves <clears throat> this Cancer or this Capricorn energy, there's a new moon that is involved in this energy as we approach this first quarter of autumn, okay? And this first quarter, quarter of autumn that we see is <clears throat> following, excuse me, is following a solar eclipse. And this is external change. 
So there are things about you that you're either looking to or working on changing from the external part of you. You're going to change your look, your hair, your body. You know, you're thinking about an overhaul, okay, when it comes to you and the energy that you are going towards, all right? My beautiful Libras, so beautiful, okay? Now, this energy right here that we're looking at, this is all about Uranus. This is about a revolution. This is a revolution taking place, okay? A revolution taking place from within you. That is what's happening. <laughs> wow. And this is Saturn energy. This is about restrictions, okay? Now, this revolution is taking place after feeling restricted. Spirit is telling me that this restriction has lifted. Okay? Look at the phases of the moon that it follows. And so therefore, we have resources. Yeah, this represents resources this is succeedant okay this card represents succeedant and you'll be able to succeed through the resources that are at your hands right now the universe has provided you the proper resources that you need to be able to succeed and go forward no more restrictions okay because it's a revolution Let's get into this Tarot. Beautiful, beautiful energy from the ethers, from the astros. I love it. Make sure you check out Virgos as well. I use this deck as well. More information on it as well. Um, but let's get into the Tarot. Let's see what's going on. Let's have a deeper look and see what's really going on. Beautiful, beautiful Libras. I hope you're doing well on this weekend. And that you're enjoying your weekend. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about this energy for the Libras. Check your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus, okay? Check your placements and see where this Venus energy may lie when it comes to the Libra. Cards for Libra. SP. Thank you, Spirit. All right. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's get to it. Let's get to the meat of it. Just get all the way in it, right? You can see that? All right, cool. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we're working with right here. Mm, beautiful Libras, we're going to tell a story. We're going to tell a story. Of how it goes down in Libra Town, right? <laughs> uh, how it goes down in Libra Town. Let's expound. All right. Let's go ahead and start here. Because <laughs> this is enough meat on the bone to get it popping with. Let's talk about it, okay? My beautiful Libras. We got the Queen of Cups, okay? <laughs> Queen of Cups. Let me get a pointer. I have to, you know, I, I moved. So I'm still getting things out of boxes, okay? I don't have all of my everything with me, but what I do have is enough to be able to really um, connect with the tribe, with the dynasty, okay? So, we got the Queen of Cups. And this Queen of Cups energy, we know she's all about healing. And she is supportive in a very nurturing energy, okay? As well as emotional. She has a lot of emotion, you know? 
but overall her compassion is a, a higher energy it comes from the highest okay now when we think about this queen of cups energy in herself we recognize that she's all water all emotion right so this is a water sign and we have the death next to this Queen of Cups energy. Page of Wands, that is next to the death. Falling with the King of Pentacles, an Eight of Cups, the Hermit, the Devil, and the Two of Wands, okay? So, this is what spirit is laid out on this table. It's letting you know that, remember to flip and switch these energies, but we got a queen of cups energy who was fully in their emotions about a death that has been put to energy of a page of wands, okay? Now, keep in mind this page of wands energy. This is someone who is impulsive, okay? Young-minded, can't sit down, always moving. And they're always looking for a sense of adventure, okay? Now, this energy may come in the form of a king of pentacles, all right? There's a king of pentacles that follows this page of wands. Now, this may be some characteristics that are within this king of pentacles, okay? This king of pentacles energy... We know the King of Pentacles is all about wealth and generosity. And he's a practical leader and is a wise investor as well. We're going to go ahead and clarify these cards. But this King of Pentacles energy, okay, is someone who wants to do it moving. They want to see something else, something better. Yeah, an era of cups energy falling underneath the queen of cups. So we got eight of cups. They, they're walking away from this queen of cups energy. They're walking away. This is about withdrawing. This is a retreat. This is getting away from, okay? Now, this energy of the eight of cups energy that we see happening in Libras, this is a hermit energy. This individual is in hermit mode, all right? And to sit in your hermit mode is to tap into your inner wisdom and your personal strength and to seek some solitude to be able to find your wisdom. And then we have the devil card that's next to it. Now, this devil card is here because evidently someone has to deal with the energy of the devil in their hermit mode state. This is all about addictions and some materialism along with bondage, okay, and feeling restricted. So we have an individual that has to go in. However, this is what they have to battle. They have to battle their demons, And they're doing all of this, this devil energy, at the same time of being in the energy of the two of wands, okay? Now, being in this devil energy and wanting to go towards your two of wands, this is you waiting on some type of results or trying to make a decision and also planning for the future and leaving out of your comfortability. So it's looking to me like they're in between a rock and a hard spot. And the devil energy is the hard spot because you're going in because all you can see is a better future, a better world for yourself in this two of wands energy. And you're waiting on results. And this hermit mode is what you have to go in. Remember, you're looking to get away. 
to leave what is familiar to you. Someone is fighting to grow. Let's get into this energy. Let me check the time. Okay, I'm not doing so bad, y'all. I normally like the clock in front of me so I can read the minutes. But I'll do different setups, you know. We'll get into that. Because these minutes, I like to tie them into my read. They always play out beautifully. And if you hear any background noise, it's because I have the window open. And uh, yeah, the air feels good. Oh, spirit. Let's go ahead and tap in. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about this death, period. Death. Death hearts. Spirit. Bring me your energies. Bring me energies. All right. Came out crossing. Nevertheless, it's the Ace of Wands, okay? So, <laughs> let's run it. We got the death that comes out, and then we have the Ace of Wands. So there's been a death put to somebody's inspiration, their new ideas, and their creativity. Okay? That's not good. We got the Queen of Wands here. Tell us about, excuse me, the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Okay. Mm, the Tower. We got a Queen of Cups energy that is going through a tower. All right. No, notice the color scheme. There's a tower happening and you have the Eight of Cups in the same energy of the tower. So this Queen of Cups energy, remember to flip and switch these roles, is in an energy of feeling like she's losing everything because they actually have an energy that is walking away, okay, that is leaving, okay? Let's go back to this Ace of Wands. Let's talk about it, Spirit. Why is the Ace of Wands here, okay? Ten of Wands, like I said, things are coming to an end. This is Ten of Wands energy, okay? This is all about, once you have no more creation, okay? No more animation of the mind, of what it is that actually brings in what it is you need in order to be successful out here in this Ace of Wands energy. Remember this Ace of Wands energy, this is a gift that is given from the Most High when you come to talk about the creativity and being inspired. Okay, this is all about being enthusiastic and creating your new ideas. But how can one do so in a Ten of Wands energy? Burden, okay? All type of everything that, I mean, just feeling overwhelmed. And this is total sense of over obligation, like having too many obligations, okay? And this falls right on top of the energy of the hermit. Someone had to go hermit mode to get away from this energy. Let's talk about it. We got Ten of Wands out here. Tell us about this Page of Wands, Spirit. Libra. 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 Knight of Wands. Okay. We got a Knight of Wands. <laughs> With the Page of Wands energy. Okay. <laughs> so, with this Knight of Wands coming in, as the Knight of Wands does. Okay. They're the daredevil in the card. Right on top of the devil themselves okay now i love this card i just love the illustrations all right now you got a daredevil energy which is this knight of wands energy that you know is they're full of passion and they're free-spirited but they're also full of lust they're also full of lust, okay? And this is in the upright. <laughs> okay, 
Let's talk about the Knight of Wands spirit. Oh, look, overall energy is the Empress. So coming in for an Empress energy. Libra energy, it's okay. They're coming in. They're coming in for you. Am I covering up my, my Empress? All right, let's talk about it. Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Mm. Excuse me. All right. Here for the Four of Swords energy. Hmm. Okay. So this Four of Swords energy, this is all about someone coming to a realization that they need to retreat. They need to go somewhere and try to recover and have some introspection, do some reflection, some self-reflection, okay? Let's talk about this King of Pentacles energy, this King of Pentacles spirit, card for the King of Pentacles, okay? Oh, it flipped over and <laughs> it flipped over and then it reversed. Did y'all see that? I did. You got the Ace of Swords in the reverse. This King of Pentacles is a lie. He a liar. He's not the King of Pentacles. Not in any way whatsoever. This King of Pentacles is a liar. So if they told you they had it, they didn't. They're actually confused and they have lots of obstacles in their way and they're here for destruction. Okay? So if someone was you know fronting to you like they had it like that or like it was like that it wasn't nah they was here for destruction okay that's what's going on that's what's happening let's talk about it let's talk about it ace of swords in reverse thank you spirit for libra's energy Okay, they turned over and I'm taking them. Both of them turned over like twin sisters. Okay. Seven of Swords. So this energy, not only were they lying, there were thieves and everything that came with the lies, okay? Seven of Swords energy. All the Swords. And they came with a Queen of Swords energy as well. The Queen of Swords energy is here. All right? Lots of swords. Let's talk about it. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Okay? Because this is a lot of air energy here. Okay? Swords is Libra's energy. Why is the Queen of Swords here, Spirit? Mm. Okay. That's two cards. Ooh. Looks like three. All right, we got three. Let me grab it. All right. Four cards came out, and you know what? Spirit is saying, put them back in. Yeah, I'm putting them back in. He fell on the floor. Okay. Queen of Swords, but Queen of Swords. Oh, we got one flipped over. We got two flipped over. Okay, let's talk about it. We got judgment in reverse. And we got the Nine of Pentacles, all right? So, Nine of Pentacles is out here. This is that, you know, sophistication when it comes to being able to be independent with everything that you need when it comes to getting your Pentacles. You worked hard for it. You're there in this energy, okay? However, you got judgment that is in the reverse. Someone does not want to face judgment behind the lies, the trickery, the thief. 
thievery and all that came with it, okay? Actually, they're in the energy of wanting to come towards you or have motion with you, even though they are looking to get out of the judgment, okay? This is what I'm seeing. This is what the cards are saying. They don't want to face judgment, but nevertheless, you... Libra energies are on their mind. And when you see judgment in reverse, just know that they don't want it. They're still full of resentment, okay? And disappointment. And guess what? They don't have any belief in themselves. This is what that energy represents, okay? Let's talk about it. This card came out too, huh? Let's see. <laughs> this is my new neighbor. He got to let everybody know he on his way to work. Hey, when I like it, it's a channel message. If you love me like you say you do. Huh, you been thinking about it, huh? <laughs> Oh, he didn't want me to get next to you, baby. Uh, he got the Al Green going. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'm so tired. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> okay, all right. Thanks for that channel message, neighbor. All right, Knight of Pentacles flipped over in the shuffle, okay? I didn't see right when it came out, but I reckon it came out with this energy, okay? I'm going to put it back in. It'll come out if it's meant to come out. All right. <laughs> now we got the Eight of Cups it, that is here. Let's tap into this energy of the Eight of Cups. Let me look at my time. I'm doing really good. Okay, Eight of Cups spirit for my Libra energies. Eight of Cups. I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Soon as I can. Yeah, they want to see you soon as they can. All right. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is looking definitely to leave and get away from all of what is hindering them, okay? With this Eight of Cups that is here. But they want to get away and they want to head towards a Ten of Pentacles energy. Hmm. I mean, we all want to head towards a Ten of Pentacles energy, right? So, this individual is wanting to actually leave a legacy behind okay this ten of pentacles is about leaving a legacy leaving a legacy they're in the energy of wanting to leave a legacy okay i see why the other card that came out and in order to do that you have to go against everything that you have been in the energy of this this energy right this is about stability. This is about family inheritance. And it didn't exist from what we see with the cards prior. It also came out with a Knight of Swords energy. This Knight of Swords energy is somebody who wants to be ambitious and have a lifestyle change. Okay? And they want to do it with assertiveness. This can also be a fast talker. Okay? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the hermit. Spirit, give us the hermit. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? The hermit is here for the four of pentacles. Okay? Hmm. Somebody has to hold on to everything that they have, okay? They're... Scrooge McDuck right about now. 
because they've lost. They've taken some loss. You're sitting next to the devil energy. Mm-hmm. Tell us about the four pinnacle spirit. Tell us about the four of pinnacles. All right. Three of wands. Three of hearts. Three hearts that beat as one. Yeah. This three of wands energy. This individual wants growth. And they actually see potential. All right. For traveling. They're looking ahead to the future. Okay. Yeah, they're looking ahead to the future. Into the future. What do they see in the future, Spirit? Three of Wands. What do they see? Anything flip? Wait a minute. Something flipped. The Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles energy. Okay, tell us about the Queen of Pentacles spirit. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. All right. Yeah, I mean, you have the hermit. Someone in hermit mode that has to hold on to everything that they have because they're looking to really... Uh, go into something better with their lives and this is a queen of pinnacle energy that shows up along with ace of pentacles okay so we got this ace of pinnacles energy and we know this is the biggest coin this is new beginnings. This is a raise. This is a promotion. This is prosperity. This is investing in yourself. This is everything that this person has gone into hermit mode to be able to do Why they're holding on to everything that they have, okay, in this energy. And they have a queen of pentacles energy that they're wanting to tap into and have a new beginning with a queen of pentacles, all right? Energy. Let's talk some more about it. And at the bottom of the deck, notice the color schemes. It's the magician who is here. Hmm. Tell us more, spirit. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. I'm not taking these, but I'll take this other one that came out by itself. And that's the star energy, Aquarius energy. Now, this is a healing energy. This is hope. This is faith. This is everything one would want to hold on to when it comes to even reaching the energy of Ace of Pentacles. So this is ambitions of a rider, okay? This is what I am seeing, okay? And then we got the Two of Pentacles that is here. This is also someone who was trying to have a balancing act or juggle okay but we'll tap more into that the devil why is the devil here spirit okay and uh, the devil is here for the king of swords okay we got the king of swords energy why is the king of swords here spirit For the nine of wands okay so someone has created boundaries against the energy that is the king of swords okay this is another energy that is now in this energy okay and we know this king of swords they're rational okay and they're an authority figure they like to consider themselves Mr. Smart Guy. You know, they have an intellectual type of ambition to themselves and they have a focused mindset. They're very focused in on what it is that they want. Someone created boundaries 
with this individual. They spoke up for themselves, all right? Because they are the wounded hero in this Nine of Wands energy. And they are tired of being in that wounded energy, which leaves them in their lowest self, lower vibration, right? The double energy that's at the very bottom, okay? Tell us about the Nine of Wands, all right? And then also a, a page of Swords energy. This is prying, okay? Eyes, and this is someone who is very, you know, um, deceptive. Okay, Nine of Wands. Tell us more about the Nine of Wands, Spirit. For my Libra energies, Nine of Wands. Okay, we got two to come out, and I'm going to take them. This came out crossing, but it's a King of Cups. Somebody who is in there twisted emotions, uh, crying and in sorrow, all right? But we have the nine of swords that is in the reverse, okay? Do you see both these cards? They come out together. So we got a king of cups who is the nine of swords that is in the reverse. This king of cup is looking for help. And they could be in some criminal justice problems facing life. Yeah, that's what the Nine of Swords in reverse means. Yeah. And this is worry. And they have to also face life, okay? Instead of running from it. A king of cups energy. Someone who has water in their sign. See where this energy fits, you know, when it comes to your personal energy. They don't have to have water. However, they're in the energy of having, being emotional, all right? Being extremely emotional following this nine of sword. I mean, following this energy of this nine of swords that is in the reverse. Okay. So this king of cups right now, I'm telling you, you know, they at one time were in the energy of being empathetic, of being a man that would have some generosity. However, it's followed with the devil energy. So you got to be careful of what it is you receive from those sitting in that energy, okay? This energy wants to come in with a fast message, fast communication, all right? Let's talk about the Two of Wands spirit. No, more on this King of Cups energy. King of Cups spirit, the Libra. Too many for Libra. Libra energies, this big. Page of Swords. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This page of swords energy, why is it here? Mm. <laughs> For the three of cups that is in the reverse. This is the three of cups that's in the reverse. On top of a page of swords energy. So this page of swords energy is an energy that really... Like I say, you know, they're pretty much in people's business. Okay. <laughs> they're in people's business. And they're very curious. So they had everything to do with this energy of this Three of Cups being turned upside down. Three of Cups, Spirit, tell us about the Three of Cups. Three of Swords. Here we go again. Yeah, this heartbreak, this let down and disappointment. Uh huh. So, this page of swords energy had everything to do with 
this energy when we talk about this king of cups all right someone got in the mix mm -hmm. and we should know that by now right we've been in this energy for a moment let's talk about this three of swords spirit three of swords four cards the magician Mm-hmm. Yeah. The magician. Someone was placing their energy and it wasn't high vibrational energy onto <laughs> the two of cups overall energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the yin to your yang, your divine mate. Mm-hmm. But we know this, right, Libras? Let's talk more about the magician. Cards for the magician. We'll be closing out soon, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Cards for the magician. For Libras. Ooh. Can't take these. Not all of them. Yes, B. All right, this one flipped over and I'm going to take it along with this one that came out in the reverse. Okay, let's talk about it. I'm getting ready to close out. I'm at 46 minutes. Okay, we got the Queen of Wands that is here. The Queen of Wands came out with the Seven of Pentacles. All right, this is a Queen of Wands energy that is not doing the work. Flip and switch these energies, okay? But this individual, the work of the magician, this is what we're coming on top. There was a queen of wands energy that was looking to see how far she would come or he would come, flip and switch the energies, with the work that they weren't putting into anything. Okay? This is like lazy magic. With a queen of wands. Why is the queen of wands here, spirit? And page of cups, this is an idea, okay? That someone sparked and said, hey, you know, let's, let's do this. Queen of wands, spirit. Queen of wands. Eight of pentacles, okay. This is someone putting in the work. Putting in the work. On top of the seven of pentacles, they didn't plant the seeds, but they wanted to reap the rewards. Because this is work that was put into the growth that is coming, right? And then you have a queen of wands energy. So... On top of the Queen of Wands, we got the Eight of Pentacles. She's been working, putting in the work. And you got Six of Pentacles that's out here. This is about knowing how to give and knowing who to give to in a balanced way. Tell us about the Eight of Pentacles, Spirit. Eight of Pentacles. Let's speak. Okay, flies out, but it's a Knight of Cups. Mm-hmm, Knight of Cups energy. We know this Knight of Cups is really all about making a dash, right? Yeah, I mean, they have a emotional offering that they want to give up but, but they're prince charming energy as well okay they're here to charm you they're here to tell you all the things that you know anyone want to hear right <laughs> and it could possibly be the other part impaired to the lover's energy okay let's go ahead and close out two of wands Let's close out with this Two of Wands. Let's tap into this Two of Wands energy. Now we know someone is in this Two of Wands energy overall, right? 
and this is them waiting for results trying to make a decision and wanting the future planning and leaving the comfort zone go ahead tell us about it spirit two of wands two of wands okay eight of wands they want to come in with a ma a message a fast message okay remember they're waiting okay <laughs> And it's concerning the lovers once again. Yeah. We know what's new to this story, right? What's new to it? Tell us about the Eight of Wands. Libra Energies. More cards for Libra Energies. Closing out. More cards. Five of Pentacles. They want to come towards you because they hurting and the bag ain't looking good, okay? This is somebody who is having financial despair right now, okay? So my beautiful Libras, I think we know what to do with that. Overall energy is the Five of Swords. Need we say any more, okay? Let me remind you, Five of Swords energy, you stay away from it because it's all about conflict. It's all about arguments and violence and feeling bullied, okay? This is an aggressive energy, okay? That's looking to come in. Four of Cups with an offer, all right? My beautiful Libras, thank you for letting me present this read to you tonight at the Dynasty and... I'll be back <laughs> quicker than quick for you all. Peace and love.